Today is the kickoff to the National Western Stock Show. Big Colorado tradition since 1906. Rodeo, livestock, all things Western and agriculture. Nine News reporter Lauren Scafidi joins us at the National Western Complex. Her first, guys, to give us a little preview of the next 16 days. Hi, Lauren. Hey, Jenny, this is so exciting. We've been waiting for this since last January, the last National Western Stock Show, right? This is day one of the 118th Stock Show. Everyone's got a smile on their face. It doesn't matter if they're five years old or 95 years old. I have Paul Andrews here. He's the president and CEO of the Stock Show. Day one, Paul, how you feeling? Man, I've never felt better. This is unbelievable excitement. More than 56,000 people coming out here today. That's going to be in the top three all time. That's a lot of people, and that adds up to a much bigger number. How many people total do you think will be coming through here in the next 16 days? Yeah, if we get some decent weather, we certainly are going to be over 700,000 people, and that means we're going to have more people than the world champion Nuggets will do in all 41 home games. We love our Nuggets, though. So. That is so impressive, and there's no doubt about it. There's just so much to do. There's so much to see. Let's talk about what we have going on right here first. We've got some goats in here that are bigger than some of the kids. <laughs> yeah, you bet. So this petting zoo is unbelievable. We got goats, we got alpaca, we got all kinds of new animals in there for the kids this year. It really gives them a chance to see that these animals are real, and it's, they're a lot of fun here in the petting farm. So, you know, we encourage everybody to come out. We're only at day one. We got 15 more to go. And what else can people see as they come through here the next couple weeks? Boy, we got world-class rodeo. We got world-class horse shows. We have acres of shopping here. You can buy anything here. You can think of 800 trade show booth spaces. And we are the Super Bowl of livestock shows. So you're going to see animals that you cannot believe 30 different species are here. We even have live music this year. So out in our new cowboy courtyard, you can hear a band any weekend that you're here, Saturday or Sunday. So... We're very excited about this year. Beautiful, beautiful. So much to do, so much to see. And one of my favorite things about this is that everybody in the family can come. You know, you have little kids who are going to grow up and bring their own grandkids one day, right? I mean, there's just so much tradition. Right. It's, it's family tradition that, that spans generations, honestly. People have been coming here, generations of families. My family's been coming here since the early 1900s. There are many, many families like mine. And you know, you still got a little time tonight if you're watching this thinking, hey, is, what time does it close? We got a rodeo at eight o'clock tonight. Come on down. And we will be live streaming that rodeo. So if you can't make it, hopefully you can, but if you can't make it, we will be streaming it for you. Paul, thank you so much for talking to us. I could ask you a couple more questions, but we've got the ranch rodeo to get to at 5.30, so we better get going. Gotta go. <laughs> thank you so much, Paul. Jenny, this has just been the best day. I can't wait for more. I'm excited for you to experience your first, your first time at the Stock Show. Lauren Scafidi, thank you. She mentioned this. Nine News is a media partner for the Stock Show, so we'll be bringing you lots of stories the next two weeks, including the chance to watch the rodeo wherever you are. We'll be live streaming three different rodeos. The first one is tonight. This is Colorado vs. The World at 8 o'clock. You can live stream the Mexican rodeo tomorrow afternoon at 2. And then the last streaming rodeo is the MLK Jr. African American Heritage Rodeo on Monday, January 15th.